How would you describe the last eight weeks? <laughs> Three words or less? Long. I love it. It's good training. What's that hurt? <laughs> Come on, say it. Legend <laughs> power. Challenging and uh, rewarding. Challenging, but worth it. Uh, sweaty, exciting, challenging. Challenging, fun, rewarding. What the three words? Um, structural and thought thought provoking. It's three words. That's impossible. <laughs> They've accomplished everything in this class. This, this is a real good bonus day for me. Uh, my whole thought process for this is you're at a firehouse now. I came in this morning at 0800. Uh, they got roll call, pass down, get a whole plan right here in front of them. And um, what they're doing is they let the, uh, the officer of the day assign the crew to each apparatus. Everybody's assigned a piece of apparatus. We're gonna go through the full game of the calls. It could be a trouble alarm, it could be a medical aid, it could be a welfare check, it could be motor vehicle accident, up to building fires, mobile home fires. We get a call, we go out, do whatever we gotta do. It's good. Yeah, they haven't told us what we're doing yet, but we have to just be ready for whatever, whatever they have set up there for us. Okay, I'm gonna get one. We're gonna be gonna throw in a fire alarm activation with the rooftop units, they land in the A building, go to the roof. Just a bunch of simple tasks. They respond, they get dispatched, they're the ones signing on the ear. They're the ones giving me a size up report. They're the ones putting themselves back in service and they have an instructor tagging along to help them guide them. Uh, then they're, when they're done, we're in service, they come back to the firehouse. They're washing apparatus, they're putting their gear back in service, they're taking care of stuff. They may get back here and get dispatched. They may be halfway back here and get re-dispatched or reassigned. It's a firehouse. For them, it's just, hey, we're going to something. What do we got? What do we see? How are we going to respond? Oh boy. <laughs> the most memorable. I don't know. I'd probably say now. Like, what's been going on now? Like, I don't know if that really counts. Does now count? <laughs> Yeah, I'm not getting there. 
there, boys. Work together. So you guys already got your grades on the written one? Captain Keller's handing them out right now. Probably does. Okay. Um, somebody's bringing in the results as they finish. He brings us in. And the practicals, excuse me, the written is already graded. They're waiting to get the grades back from the practical and they'll bring us in. Give us an exit interview sort of thing. Right. Cool. Yeah. Push me up. Yes? Woo! Nice job. I mean, I, I was supposed to be here anyway, and I figured better to be supportive than to, A, stay at home or go cry in the dorm, you know what I mean? I just don't feel like that's really appropriate or mature, so I just, I wanted to be here for my team, whether I was testing or I wasn't, so. That's what I did, as hard as it was. Being and practicing our practical skills and all the ropes and the knots and getting dressed and undressed and hose rolls and then a lot of book work, a lot of uh, going through the textbook again, so. Uh, I feel confident. Hopefully it went uh, as good as I hoped and I think the practical side was a little less nerve wracking. I think everybody is more worried about the written test, but uh, I think it went well. Went into the auditorium and then Captain Keller pulled me and two other people saying that we obviously couldn't be in there because they were testing, which was totally understandable. Um, but I wanted to be like there when they came out, so I sat in here and waited for everyone to come out They did the written test and watch them go in and out doing their um, hands-on practical. And then we moved into the auditorium, and I just basically just stayed the last person was done. I did it to show that, like, it's sad and it sucks, but just I'll just take it again. It is what it is. I'll take it. 80 more times, I'll be an 80 year old firefighter. I mean, I want this more than anything, so. Prep for testing a lot was sleeping, because I was sick. I've been sick since Friday. So I was kind of fighting between study and hurt my brain, or sleep and have it relaxed. So a lot of the time. So last night I went home, and I was like, study, or sleep, or study, or sleep, sleep. Like, what's honestly gonna help my brain more? I think I spent more time trying to decide what was better instead of studying or sleeping. Uh, the test was tough. Um, uh, everyone in there saying, you know, you know, we'll see how it goes. Um, practicals. Uh, I just went up there. I did my uh, SCBA ladders and hose roll, and it went real well. Plenty of time to do it, and uh, I'm just finishing up with knots later this afternoon. When we 
catch up to it. Aren't you have to retest it? No, I have to. I remember it was just like sticking out like this on the line, and I just read it. That's a critical fail. Um, so I gotta do that. What happened? My close on the ladder, the follow through, the, the tail was like. Yeah, I wasn't even past so it. The you, next round. So you. That's how you can measure it. Like, put it to the next round. You yeah. captured it like way. Short. Yeah. I think when uh, Captain Keller was about to tell me if I passed, he like his face was so straight, and then I'm <laughs> waiting for like a green sheet or a handshake, and then he's like, and I was like, okay, <laughs> I could read him. But I'll definitely do it again. Yeah, I'll take this class all over again if I have to. Like, I have no problem with that. I did that with my EMT class. That's what my tattoo stands for. So I'll, I'll just keep going. I'll just keep adding to it or whatever. So yeah, I want this. Passed. Passed the practical. Um, missed the written by one point. What does that mean now? Tomorrow we take it. I think, I think I'll be okay. I mean, there's not a reason to other than just an absolute brain malfunction. Like today. I guess the only thing to add would be, as much as you fail something, if you really want it that bad, you just keep trying at it. I'll be a five for someday. Soon enough. So how much do you have to pack up? Nothing. I was, I, so packing you're pretty much some day clothes and a couple pairs of gloves and a bunch of the paperwork's just getting tossed out. I've got my running shoes in the, the wall locker and the linens are getting stripped. My suit for tonight is in here and that's it. So what's on tap for the rest of the day? Uh, for the rest of the day, I'm gonna go grab some lunch. I'm gonna come back, help set up the CPAP for Monday and uh, just prepare to have a pretty good time with a bunch of great people uh, this evening. You know, we're putting our stamp of approval on these, on these students who are now firefighters. And that means a lot to us. This isn't just a paycheck for us. We're not here to get rich. Uh, we truly put our blood, sweat, and tears into this as well. Dressed up, looking good. Dad's big night, isn't it? He did a good job, huh? You proud of him? Yeah. And doing all this recruit school and stuff, I mean, it wouldn't be worth it if I didn't have somebody to, to do it for. So they're the, they're the ones that I'm really doing it for. I think it's the second week of October. I can come back and do my hazmat, my fire one, maybe fire two. I don't know if they let me do it the entire week. There's no way I can do all three tests in one day. That just set me up for failure. Okay. So you're going to be there tonight? Yes. As soon as I get done here, I'm gonna put the locker. You got it, I'll be looking. Last day, so I'll be over there. I'll be looking. Pulling me down. It definitely feels like family. It's it's pretty awesome. Um, I don't want to lose any of these friendships. Um, you know, some of the guys are like, "Are we even gonna see each other again?" And that worries me. I'm like, "Yeah, yeah, we better see each other again." I don't want to like. Just be like, oh, pff, those are just guys I went to the academy with. Because I think this has been, it was a really important time. We had a very good, passionate group. You have, Allard, you know, we had, Bronson, we had a mixture of veterans Carrier. and high school graduates and everything that came together. And I think that Ridge, them working as a, Paul, as a team Davin. from the very beginning helped to get them to the end. Okay. Close. The cost is gone. is important and they realize it very early on and we, we set the expectations very high from the get-go and they were able to exceed those and come together and it's on them. I mean our, the instructors were great and they saw the best instructors we have in, in New Hampshire but they came together and they put in the work. Gretchen E. Jokey. James F. Marin.
Ashton L. Rome. Brittany A. Rutherford. Okay, so, 2018 recruits class, stand up. And you are dismissed. To our viewers for following this multi-part video series, First Alarm. We want to thank the students and also our focus students for participating in this program and giving you a glimpse in the life of a firefighter recruit. We hope you're able to see some of their successes and challenges and at times their failures and a little bit of their personal lives at home. Certainly want to thank our instructors who were support for this program and whose expertise helped the recruits succeed. And finally, we want to thank the staff and the folks from the Education Technology Group that followed around the students and did the filming and put this series together for you. Thank you.